wheels on the bus going round down round. Got the wheels on the bus going round down round. Uh, ooh, yeah, wheels going round down round. Yeah, and we rolling, rolling, rolling through your town. Yeah, hey, round and round and round and round and round. What's happening, everybody? Welcome to another episode of the Big Ugly Sports Show brought to you by the Bank of Dudley. We are your first and your only source for mediocre, below-average sports coverage. Glad you could join us on this beautiful day. My name is Chill. We got a great show. lot to talk about. Uh, Bill Walton going on in. Uh, Angel Hernandez retiring. Got Braves baseball, a Cunha injury, a lot going on, and another round of the Bus Cup. So make sure you tune in for the entire show today. But for now, let's bring in these hooligans. Robin Hood and Little John walking through He the looks like chewed up bubblegum with his shirt off. Nobody drives out of brisket quite like him. The bus crew are his only friends. His head is small, but his face is fat. Put your hands together for Matt. Opie Hightower. Never, ever What's up, brothers? Danger in the water. They were drinking. They just guzzled it. Down. Didn't like it. Sleepy hot didn't like it. <laughs> <laughs> he's struggling this morning, y'all, but he's here. He is a UGA graduate. He's a diehard dog. He can make a bottle of mouth wide state. His bottom row looks like he bit a brick. He's the one, the only pride of Buddy Johnson Road. Put your hands together for Adam Height High Tower. Is the mic on? Hey. Morning, Country everybody. high this morning. Country, Country high. high. Country high. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Show, Open your eyes now. I show them how big them brim was this weekend. Right here. <laughs> <laughs> all right, open them eyes up now. My I'm boy, sleepy. how sleepy, sleepy this morning? No, it, ain't, it ain't often that I don't have the smaller size at the table. The my towers are closing, especially when they're tired. You, when you're, when you're smiling, and him when he's tired. Now, listen, pure luck that I woke up this morning. No alarm said, just, just pure I, I don't know. Not, not luck. It, it, was, it was dedication. Just I got this internal alarm clock that says, hey, it's time to do the book. It was all a part of do God's you, plan. Do you think that being outside, just being outdoors, fishing, and living off the land all weekend led to just that rise with the sun mentality this morning? Well, you know, when you're out there in the outdoors, you got to sometimes get up before the sun. You know, you got to get up before. before somebody before, somebody got to get them roosters up in the morning. The creature, yeah, before God's creation wakes up, you got to get up and get out there and get them. <laughs> Before we dive into Height's weekend, can we just revisit Height? How just and I know that they don't want to continue to hear about this, but Opie mentioned it before the show. Can we set a reoccurring alarm like the accidental falling asleep? You you know you're one of the few that fall victim to that regularly of just mm. sneak the sleep just sneaks up I, on I, you. I'm gonna stop you, out. you from using that word victim right there. Okay, when he's he is a contributing member to that accident. Huh? We're grown when, ups. When you work as hard as I do. From the time you wake up to you, the time, you know to, what? I forgot you planted that row out back. You ranching? You got a little case of the J babies? Yeah, it's, it's you tougher than hard jail. living, and then most y'all couldn't handle it. Yeah, and then you add <laughs> you add four youngins on top of it. I mean, you got two, you got two. The four, I can yeah, the four be tough. Now, the reoccurring alarm takes. We'll just call it less than a minute to do it. One, you know, it's a I, one-time thing. This is going to shock y'all. That never crossed my mind until y'all just brought it. And I was like, that's a pretty <laughs> good idea right there. I'm, I'm I, didn't know if, I didn't know if I yeah. did that. I gave it a shot. <laughs> so, okay, we're good. I give it a shot. Now, now it's going to be now it's going to be phone died. Don't know where phone's at. Didn't sleep in the room with the I phone. I fell asleep, X. I forgot. <laughs> Oh, hi, Left man. Left my contacts in. Forgot to brush my teeth. Mm. Phone I'm glad. Hey, tired or not, I'm glad you're here this morning, buddy. Hey, um, appreciate you. Let's talk about our weekends a little bit, Hike. Tell us about the, what is it, the Hold'em Hook? The Hold'em Hook Classic. Uh, man, we had to get Mike Thompson down here eventually to talk about it, but we had a good old time down there at Audemars and uh, stayed at Travis Craft's family camp house, and uh, it, was, it was a good time. Me and Eddie Floyd, we, we showed them boys how to fish for brim. And, uh, Did Country Height show up? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Country Height was out there just whipping that, whipping that pole and show him how he did it again. And and wearing them brim out. It was a good time. Did Did Junebug Floyd live up to the talk of yes, being an expert yes, fisherman? Yes, he did. He uh, he's not real familiar with that with that river, according to him. Instincts just took over there. But somehow or another, me and him. Uh, just me and him in that one boat uh, doubled up three other boats on the number of fish caught. Wow. 
doubled up three other boats combined or yes so all of their the other three boats didn't catch individually them. doubled them up combined you put all their fish together wow and then y'all doubled that we doubled that so did y'all catch the most that that's yes i don't know if there was a fifth boat out there that just, you didn't want to bring into the equation no, trying to hush it <laughs> no that was that was it update us on uh floyd's neck here where was he at on uh, cause it gets, you know it gets it a crazy thick. back there. It was thick, you know. I we I told him to be sure to get the ticks out whenever we get out of the woods, <laughs> because we got off in some some sloughs down there trying to get them side side pockets. I don't know what a slough maybe is what you call it. What I heard, but and this is your first annual on the on the hold 'em hook. This is my this is my is first it an time. annual? Yeah, it is. They've been doing it for twenty no, something years. I'm, I'm what, oh, I for me, yeah. yeah I'm, I'm, I mm-hmm. phrase that wrong. Oh yeah, absolutely. I'll be there for the duration of the. You yeah. think as many fish y'all caught, they probably name it after y'all after this year? Mm-mm. No, because apparently Eddie's been catching more fish than everybody since he started years ago. Well, they said the way Mike Thompson describes it, everybody's going to have a good time, like hang out. Eddie's going to catch fish. That's why he's there to fish. They were trying to catch fish. <laughs> what I loved about it is literally every time a fish was pulled in in their boats. You could hear them across, like, Fred, anywhere and out there in the wilderness. <laughs> they were going bananas every time they caught a fish. Not y'all. Well, we used to it. Just going to work. It, what it was, and it probably wasn't the same without law. I mean, that's a whole different experience. I, there was, I know how much fun law brings to the table. So I was pretty devastated when I found out he wasn't coming. <laughs> um, and they were all talking about, too, how he just adds a different element to it. Why wasn't he there? Um, he he uh, he had some responsibilities here at home. Um, I'm not real sure. One of them wasn't to show up today on the show. That's not what one of the responsibilities yeah. was. But uh, he was missed for sure. He was missed for sure. They were telling. <laughs> we all had brought our own covers, and uh, well, we that's were- a true. That's when you know he's an outdoorsman. <laughs> What he refers to as camping gear as covers. <laughs> <laughs> no, we stayed in a camp house, and so I, I had an air mattress, and I was told to bring my own covers and pillow, and I forgot. <laughs> so, so did you, did you it, double up with Jim Bud? No, he he uh, he brought me. He said, "I'll get you. I'll get you a blanket." So, and they, by by, they knew. by blanket, he meant the most narrow <laughs> and thinnest. I don't. It, I don't even want to call it a blanket. It was more like I was covered up with a towel, <laughs> thinner than a towel. I, I got towels That's at a home. Tough situation. Freezing and and so Thompson running the AC hard as he can. I said Thompson, I'm freezing. He's like, Ah, oh, you be all right. <laughs> so, so I had to move my air mattress like behind some stuff to just like get away from the air conditioner. I was freezing. <laughs> Roger did say he saw you on the golf course the day before you were leaving. He said you were in the front yard um, with your fishing gear on, like you were getting ready, <laughs> like you couldn't, like a kid before Christmas could. <laughs> He's such an like, idiot. We're just Practic- <laughs> practicing casting. Said he had his with vest them, and a hat on. With the brim busters. Uh, no, so so I was I was cutting grass and I saw this heavy set fella lumbering up to the tee box on number four, and uh, it was the ugliest stance I'd ever seen. I saw I knew it was Rogers. Claims he shot a 46 that day. He did. I, I, I'll say this. I saw him absolutely destroy one down the middle of the, middle on of the fairway. Yes, on number four. I did. I. And, uh, and then he came over there and uh, uh, and was making fun of the hat. Because I was wearing my fishing hat. But I had just bought from Walmart <laughs> shortly before. <laughs> Slipped in it. <laughs> and, uh, but, but I, you know, uh, Folks like Tyler who can't survive out in the wilderness like I can, I understand he, him being jealous. So, meanwhile, I gave my hat to, to Mike Thompson. He complimented it. So, I said, you know what, Thompson, I'm going to let you have it. What so, a guy. Yeah. Wow, what a guy. Man, I spent, I spent all yesterday. I can't think of anything worse to do than uh, wash my house. And, like, with like pressure wash the outside? Yes, but I actually washed with, a, like, an extended brush. Because it had some algae and stuff on it. Can't think of anything worse. But, uh, well, actually, I can. Because during it, I noticed, you know, we're kind of out in sticks now. And uh, wasp had a couple of wasp areas that I sprayed with some spray and got them. And um, got circled back to the back porch. Was getting it right there near the end. Too. It's starting to rain now, too. So I'm kind of excited to be finishing up on the back porch. Just scrubbing away. Step on one. Mm-hmm. Mm. Scared your boy. Right in the bottom of that foot, and it boy, 
it still hurts to this you morning. Barefoot? I was, oh yeah, that. So I had my Crocs on. No, it's my fault. I had my Crocs on throughout the whole day, but I was. It took me about three and a half hours, and I noticed that the inside of my foot, the Crocs, was getting after me a little bit, rubbing a little raw. So I mm-hmm. said, you know what? I'm, let me go barefoot down the home stretch. Mm-hmm. Yes, was not good. That's on you, dude. Yeah, that's on me. That's a rookie mistake. All right, let's talk a little sports. Um, so we, did, as I mentioned, Bill Walton. Didn't even know he was sick, but apparently he's been battling cancer for a while. Uh, died, I guess it was yesterday, maybe, at 71. So, you know, obviously legend, UCLA, and won a couple of national championships there and in the NBA, and then legendary broadcaster, too. To, you know, so, you know, those of us that like the NBA, go miss yeah. that. Yeah, he was a unique guy. Uh, very well liked and, and super Big friendly. Big yeah, six eleven. Went undefeated his last two years at UCLA. Uh, won, that, uh, won NBA championships with two different teams. MVP. I think he was underrated as to how good he was as a player. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, he, he, they say he changed the way centers approach the game. Like all the, the tall shooting centers that we have now that stretch the floor and did all the different things, he was the first one to do that. So That was before it was popular. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. And shout out to uh, Lars Gingers, you know. There's <laughs> something to be said for yeah. those guys. You're not 6'11". You're large in a different way. Oh, thank you. I was, I was about to say that. <laughs> hey, it's a big and tall department. All right. <laughs> um, and then another one, Angel Hernandez retiring. So, long time, three decades, I think it said, of an MLB controversial figure. I think he started in like 95 or something like that. I mean, terrible, terrible umpire confrontational you know you want the umpire to not make it about them he must have misread that statement because he did the opposite of that every time he was well known for being the worst umpire in the game year after year after year um has not been a part of uh any world series crew since like 95 or something like that and like 2016 since he's been part of a champion uh uh, league championship series has never been promoted to crew chief even though he's been there longer than anybody else once had a lawsuit filed against MLB because they wouldn't promote him because it couldn't be that he was just awful at his job had to be raised said it was discrimination against Joe Torre Me- meanwhile every color that plays hates him. <laughs> yeah so I mean just to me the thing that stood out is one thank goodness he's gone but two, the fact that – I mean, it's, it's everywhere. It's not just in MLB baseball. It's in, it's in politics. It's in the business world. But so scared of litigation that they couldn't fire a bad employee. Yeah. And that's frustrating. How, is, how are you that bad for that long, though, like at the, the top of your – Profession. I mean, you're you, you. He didn't get there by. There's no way he got there by being terrible. You know what I mean? Like, unless it was easier to be an umpire in 1991 than it is today. I mean, but you don't just be in the MLB and have been terrible your whole life. So yeah. I mean, I think that's it's in comparison. You know, like he's he's at at Deadly Little League. He'd be a great umpire. He'd probably be the best one out there. But I'm out there, I'm out there calling too now. So. He, I feel safe. I feel safe. It says hey, he wouldn't do it more confidently. I bet that <laughs> it did say during on ESPN it said during the 2018 playoff game. So this I guess was probably his last playoff game. Three calls reversed in the first four innings. <laughs> I mean, uh, I mean he was always the worst one, but he got paid and, a lot of years. And it would all like obviously we listen to the Braves announcers when we watch games, but. You would always hear different announcers when he was caught. They'd be ham- the announcers would be hammering him too about how bad he was. So just parentally hated by everybody associated with MLB. Um, hi, give us a give us a quick update if you will on, on Noah G. A lot of the fans concerned. Tate King loved it on YouTube, by the way. Of he said not <laughs> not Gene, not the knees. <laughs> so give us an update on the well being of one Noah Garte after after the field day fiasco we oh, had. Oh man, he's he's good. He he ain't missed a beat. I. So I, um, Good spirits. He he never missed a day of work. Uh, he didn't do a whole lot when he was there, but he was there. He he sat he sat at his desk and uh, and basically uh, gave me orders because uh, you know I was I got two working 
legs. So I, anyway, he he had he was there. He's good. He's he's not gonna be able to shoot ball for a little while. He told me he was upset about that. He was gonna come to my kid my kid's golf camp, and I was gonna try to get his game right. But he can't come to that anymore. So he's in good spirits. He's he's not gonna miss his church camp or any of that stuff. He does a lot over the summer with his church youth. So he says he's gonna. He's gonna battle through. How many how many days of work you think Jay or Law would miss if they had that happen? Oh, no. Mitch probably done. Would he would have never come back? Because um, <laughs> we we were only had of uh, I don't know. He'd be he'd be battling to come back in August. <laughs> we had we had a week and a half left after the injury, I believe. And Mitch would have just called that in. And, nah, guys, I just I ain't gonna be back, Doctor. I need bed rest. <laughs> and and Jay, yeah, he just would he'd have retired. But but if that would happen, his company Bridges would have definitely taken off in his absence. More money, <laughs> more money would have been made up in up in there. But in contrast, chill though. leadership. Oh wow! Sometimes chill. it takes over. You think Easy he would have even went home for a day? No, he just uh, would have, after because, five he would have gone home. Well, it, if he would have been at West Middle and it would have been like his first time, like first week, no, he would have, he would have said, "I'm okay. Y'all just get me in a chair. I'm all right." He would have never left. Yeah, it's I mean, rock and rolly and swivel, but he'd have been in it. Yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Well, I appreciate that. We'd have probably got some some tape and some tongue depressors from the school <laughs> nurse. And Had a good time with straighten him. that leg out. <laughs> it'd been good. Oh man, shout out to Noah though, man, loyal listener of the show, and we hey best wishes from the bus crew. Um, I do have a little bit of a rant, but before I go on my rant, I I, I did see where the Adam Hightower Instructional Golf Clinic, sponsored by U.S. Golf, has starting to fill up. If it's not all the way full now, mm, yeah, we got. I think we have five spots left at eleven o'clock. The nine a.m. class, ten a.m. class, both full. Are you okay with us referring it to the Adam Hightower? Yeah, Instructional I mean, camp? you know, people are gonna call it. The, y'all are gonna call it what y'all want to call it. You know, it's, when you say y'all, like bus people or just people in general, the masses. You know, masses. everybody. Uh, so yes, I kind of like to hear. I didn't even notice you called it my name. Honestly, it's just you know, so humble. I'm humble. It's just, but it's good. If it, we got five spots left, um, it's gonna be a good time. Kids are gonna be way better at golf when they get finished than they were when they started. That's for sure. And I'm gonna need. I need a. If you can, at some point, give it. If there are any loyal listener dads that are that are bringing their kids, love to have their feedback at some point after okay. it's over. If you can hook, put us in touch. You know, I I'm certified. I'm qualified. I'm. Never confident. Mm. I got, Certified and qualified. Mm-hmm. I've got my equipment. My equipment came in this past week. And I'm really excited about it. So it's going to be good. Right. Is that one of them where you like you pay twenty dollars? You're certified. No, it was not twenty dollars. I promise you. Way more. Way more. Way more. He's heavily invested. Heavily, heavily, invested. heavily invested. Heavily invested. I tell you, we, we came out. Jack, my son Jack, and I came down yesterday morning and played at Green Acres yesterday and. Man, I, I enjoyed that. So I, I'm coming all the way from Warner Robins because you can't get tea times early in the morning, up in, especially the last minute like I am, up in Warner Robins at those nice courses and stuff. But you drive down to Green Acres 45 minutes and get on that course, show up at 8 o'clock, and nobody else is there hardly. Got right out there, got on, didn't really run into many people the whole time I was out there. I mean, there was more people after me, mm. but out in front of me, I, pl- I played through one group. Um, got through nine holes. Jack's mostly my my driver, but he will get out and chip and putt. But uh, a lot of instruction on that. A lot of instruction on that yesterday. He was, he was instructing of, you. No, a lot oh. of almost throwing me through the dashboard. Uh, when you oh uh, oh driver, I yeah. thought you meant he was. No no no. Like you said, he's your driver. But yeah. he would chip and putt. But now you're saying he's your driver no, as in, golf cart. He driver. drove the golf cart. Okay. But, and then he would get out and chip and uh, putt around the green. I wouldn't be surprised if he could outdrive you, though. Yeah. I mean, if he can keep it in the fairway, it would qualify, and mine would not. But he had a bad habit of right as I'm about to get off the golf cart, because you, you start getting out as it's stopping. Yeah. He slams that brake down and just jerks me forward real good. Was that intentional or is him just stopping the no, car? No, that's just why he drives. We had to talk about that. But I tell you what, you never seen the look of disappointment when we rounded nine and he realized we were playing 18, not just nine. Because <laughs> <laughs> normally we'll go late in the afternoons and just play nine holes real quick. Yeah. He was like, where are we going? We done? I was like, no, nah, we got nine more. We got go. nine more. <laughs> what? We're playing 18? 
<laughs> ruined his day. Sad. He, ruined he, he wasn't day. happy. About he it. was. He didn't complain a whole lot, but he was not engaged. Did on you the get back him a night. snack at a turn? I got him a snack on the way. Like we had packed some food. Good planning. Yeah. All right. Now uh, we got a lot to talk about on the other side of the break, but y'all hang with us. Uh, let's hear from our sponsors. We will be right back. New year, new financial goals. Whether it's saving, investing, or planning for the future, we've got your back. Visit Bank of Dudley today, and let's make 2024 your year for financial success. Think with confidence at Bank of Dudley. Since 1905, member FDIC. This is Brad Meeks, owner of Brian's Giant Subs. Thanks for listening to the Big Ugly Sports Podcast. Come see us today to grab your favorite sub. 1632 Veterans Boulevard in the Oaks Shopping Center, Dublin, Georgia. J2 Streaming Services. With over 9,000 live channels and packages starting at $15 per month, you literally can't beat it. Visit them on the web at www.j2streaming.com. Proud sponsor of the Big Ugly Sports Show. For all your HVAC needs, please call Elite Comfort Solutions. We specialize in commercial and residential HVAC. The number is 833-483-HVAC, and the website is www.EliteComfortSolutions-Inc.com. Call for a free quote today. Big Peach Car Wash, coming this April across from Walmart on Highway 80. I hadn't washed my truck in five years. I'm breaking that streak this April. Welcome back to the Big Ugly Sports Show, brought to you by the Bank of Dudley. We are on site out here at the Bridges Ranch. Um, so, yeah, uh, before we get into the bus cup, uh, do have a little bit of a, a rant that kind of got kind of mad yesterday, and I just want to know y'all's y'all's take on this. Um, I was watching a, a highly recommended TV show uh, from Gabe Gay and Jeff Clayton, um, mayor of Kingstown. I don't know if y'all seen that. Yeah, I've seen it. So I, I'm dialed in on Amazon Prime, you know, which we pay for. It's part of you know part of the package. Prime Video comes with it. Watch all the first season over the last few days. There's only two seasons out right now. The third one's coming out next month, but. And I think there's there was nine episodes in the first season, and there's maybe nine in the second season, nine or ten. Well, I get to episode seven, you know, cue it up, ready to go, click play. Got to subscribe to Paramount Plus to watch that on Prime to watch that. So here I am now. I'm hooked, which is their 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 strategy behind that. Here I am, six dollars. So like. Is that fair? Where are we at on having to pay a subscription on top of the subscription I'm already paying to watch it? That's how they get you, Chill. That's how they get you. I'm so, not happy about it, but I, I, I'm, I, I like that show, too. Um, and It's hard to watch at times, a lot, especially yeah. early. It was, it was kind of dark, real dark yeah, early. It was. It was. But, uh, yeah, that, that's, man. That, but So the people at Paramount are the ones that, that create that show, and so they got to get their money somehow, Chill. But I'm assuming, uh, why? Wonder why the first season and a season and three quarters was just free on Prime. Do you? Uh, do you wonder? Yeah, I thought I said that almost out of out of pure like disdain for this process. Yesterday, I sat there in that chair for ten minutes and did, almost <laughs> didn't pull the trigger. I was like, I'll just find out how it went for somebody else. I ain't gonna do it. But then they said the new season's coming out like June second. I said. Ah, Got to get it. That, so now I'm in for at least that, two months. That is supply and demand, Chill. They got like it. it. You want it. it Pay was, for it. It was kind of like me this past weekend when I had that cricket on that hook. Had yeah, it, out there. I wish everybody could see you right now. They're on YouTube. Show them again. Just naturally. It's, it's, just it's a, bumping it, that it was, I can't do that. I mean, that's just, I mean, my hands. It's just working man, the lure. Tell you what. Some it people wasn't got lure. It. It, was, it was a cricket. Okay. On a court. You're right. It's bait. You're right. Thank you. This guy, this guy, he don't. He's not outdoors. He don't know. Not outdoors. <laughs> I'm just oh. using the brim busters. All it was. <laughs> all right. Uh, I caught one so big the pole I was using broke. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> Biggest still, one. Did you still reel it in? Well, you can't. I mean, you, you know, can't reel in. You still a, bring a, it a in. Brim you still bring I, it in. I did. He dove in after it. Now, this guy's such a stickler. <laughs> he will get you now. <laughs> well, I just don't want you to sound. Those are those are one of ridiculous. You sound ridiculous. Those are one of the four things you know about fishing. So you. <laughs> want to get it right. Sound, Driving the sounds like four more than you. <laughs> Ooh, got him. <laughs> All right, uh, before we go bus cup here, Celtics uh, sweep the Pacers last night in the NBA Finals now. The Mavs going for the sweep tonight. And, you know, last week we were talking about Ant-Man and the, the Wolves. And so it looks like, barring something wild, it's going to be Mavs, Celtics, before it's all said and done. So quick prediction on who, who takes home the NBA Finals. 
Got to go Mavs. Got to. What's crazy is we could have had Luca. Could have had him. That's, that's all I kept thinking about was how frustrating it is that we had him and we let him go. And there's nobody in the East right now. The East is up for grabs. There's really not a dominant team in the NBA right now like there normally is. And it's there for the taking, and we got nothing for it. The, the, the cool part to watch is, like, Kyrie Irving to me. First off, him and Luca have obviously towed to them. And Carl Anthony, Carl Anthony Towns for the Timberwolves has completely shot them out of – I think he's, like, six for 33 on the – he was last game. He completely shot him out of the game. Um, but Kyrie uh, uh, is underrated in a lot of ways because I, w- I would argue that he's probably one of the top three most skilled players to ever play the game. Three to, Top five, three to five, as far as basketball skill. Like, it's insane what he can do with the rock. And he's undersized compared to most and – He's still scoring 30-plus a game in the NBA playoffs. And, I, I mean, I think you could definitely have an argument based on his skills. And I'm not saying he's one of the five best people to ever play the game. Um, but crazy skill set and, and unbelievable with the ball. I, I agree that he's unbelievable with the ball, incredibly skilled, offensively one of the, just a really good score. But I think top three is probably a crazy thing to say. Name, name several. I, I would say he's more he's more skilled than LeBron James, well, I, who's who's the I best player in basketball think, right now. Yeah, I think he's all around a great player. I don't think LeBron James is a an exceptionally skilled scorer. I think there's a lot of people that are more more skilled offensively than him. All right, was it, so is Kyrie more skilled than Allen Iverson? Mm, that would be one of the ones. That's, yeah, I mean, he's a better it, shooter, but. Allen that would be Iverson. one of the ones I would say be up there with. Is he more skilled than Michael Jordan was? Um, with the ball in his hand, <clears throat> excuse me, with the ball in his hand, yes. All around. As far as what he can do, well, you said all around. All that, around. That would be another one. That would be one of the top. Th- those were literally two of the ones I was thinking that what I'd about put up Oscar there. Robertson. Yeah, he's more skilled than him. Larry you don't even, you Larry about Larry Oscar Bird. Robertson. You're right. I don't have any idea. Oscar Larry Robertson. Bird. Do you really not know who Oscar? Yes, I know who Oscar <laughs> Robertson is. I mean, I don't know if you know him or not. This dude catches a few fish with a I mean, ringer, with a on a ringer's listen, boat. I've got a wealth of knowledge. Dude, put you. You remember Darko Milicic? You remember Darko? Yeah, I remember. Well, Darko. Tell me about him. I remember him. Okay, man, I'm surprised. <laughs> no, you remember him? Stupid. You young it, bucks. I don't know if y'all know the old heads like we do. You know what I'm saying? I, <laughs> I think top three's reach, but okay. but it's a very skilled player. And don't get your feelings hurt. Hey, in my I limited did, basketball, I can't, I can't have my own opinion. In my limited what? basketball, night, I came up with two people that he that were. Those were the two. Those. There, I mean, you don't, you don't have to have a vast basketball knowledge to know who Michael Jordan and Allen Iverson are. If you say so. Would the most common people know who Michael Jordan is? Yeah, okay. See, that's why. Yeah, you, can't, you can't even he, – he wants to win so bad he couldn't no, even yeah, see. Yeah, he, yeah. It's an immediate yeah. yes. That's an immediate yeah. yes. Well, I was just thinking about yeah, how – I was just thinking yes. about how <laughs> – I was just thinking about how ignorant a lot of people were, and I just got, I got on that. Well, okay. Yeah. Not us. I mean, I, I, I've already said my piece. Okay. Let's go to the next topic. Yeah, let's go to – I like uh, your passion, though. Thank you. Let's go to – He thinks he's he thinks he's so much I thought better you said, at basketball go. That's than not we true. Are, oh, at basketball? We can't even have an opinion. He's yeah. like, this is my thing. Why are y'all disagreeing with me? All right, two yeah. things in that statement. One, I hey, don't think my – Why basket, don't you get your hand out of the out I of don't the think my basketball <laughs> knowledge is that much more y'all's. Two, as far as thinking I'm better than you at basketball, 100%. Well, yeah. Well, yeah, that's yeah, what your first yeah. comment. Thinks he's no, better at basketball. You said no, that you, I said, you think you're so much better at basketball that you know that we can't even argue with you. Didn't you say move on to the next comment? That's where I was trying. I, did, I was trying to transition, and, and then you, you, didn't brought, listen. you brought it right back. Can we move now, Big Red? I don't know. You gonna have an attitude about this one too? Maybe. Okay. I'm not in this one. <laughs> All right. So here we are. Hi. This was I, I was told by Wade to let you pick the category. Okay. Do you want state capitals? Baseball pitchers are NFL running backs. Oh, thanks, Wade. I appreciate that. I feel like how some, I feel like somehow it's still out to get me. Even well, if you answer pick, state capitals, baseball right. pitchers, and NFL running backs. Let's back. go. Uh, let's go. NFL running backs. Okay, so that category is going to be worth one point. Everything else is worth two points. That's, <laughs> that was his ask height to pick a category. <laughs> whatever it. category Love he it. picks is worth one point, and. Others are worth two points each. Okay. So we're Way to and, go, Wade. And history was on the list too, but I just I want law 
to just com be competitive, and I feel like that's his only shot, so I'm going to hold off on the history. There's enough questions of the other ones. So, you said running backs, right? I did. And this is going to be shout out. Okay, you can keep your own score on a dry race board, but shout out. And Wade made it. He texted me last week, too. He said, oftentimes when we ride on dry race boards, y'all don't say your answer. And so it's and so it's hard. I know you do it every time, Opie. This guy, I don't do it every time. <laughs> but everybody don't. So the radio listeners aren't sure what you guys it's are putting. It's just law. He's the only one who doesn't read it out. That's true. All right. So you're shouting this out as soon as you know it, okay? It's going to be one answer. We're in NFL running backs. <laughs> Career, I want the top five in no order. You just got to name, and you get a point for every one you name. Okay, so you can keep keep going until you get them. Top five career NFL Emmitt rushing Smith, leaders: Walter Payton, Barry Sanders, nope. uh, Emmitt Jim Smith, Brown, Walter Payton. Nope, that's two. Uh, Eric Dickerson. Um, career touchdown leaders: Emmitt Smith, Ladania Walter Payton, Thomason. There's three. Marshall Falk. Nope. Um. Tony Dorsett. Mm -mm. Fred Taylor. Nope. <laughs> Marshawn Lynch. <laughs> oh. one, of, one of them is in our era. The other one's a little before we were watching. Adrian okay. Peterson. Adrian Peterson. Earl Campbell. Mm -mm. Um, give you about five more seconds on this. Give us a hint. O.J. Simpson. Mm -mm. He uh, played, here's your hint. He played running back. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jim Brown. Three, two, one. Nope. Marcus Allen. Mark so I got right. four. Though. So so high. he's four. So that backfired on Wade right here because he picked up four. Now the rest were two points each. <laughs> so he got time to claw back. All right, we'll go state capitals. Reel it in, height. Reel it in right here. He's still sleepy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so it's just I'm gonna name a state. Obviously, you call the capital out. It's only one right answer. Shout it out, okay? What is the capital of Alabama? Birmingham. Montgomery. Montgomery. Two points. Give me some. All right, Iowa. Des Moines. Man, all right, wake up. You got hey, you need to start getting some right now. Nah, this whole game's only worth three points. <laughs> and I'm getting two. Minnesota. St. Paul. Minneapolis. St. Paul. Oh, hi. <laughs> you didn't finish. It's you the twin city. St. Paul's the answer. Oh. <laughs> I'm, I'm so ready to give it to you. <laughs> all right. Oregon. Eugene. Portland. Nope. Mm -mm. Uh, I can't remember. Winston. Blythe. Salem. Height. Hey. He's on the board. Kansas. Topeka. Topeka. All righty. Here we go. Height. <laughs> uh, Poor show. Poor show for me. Right, no, you go five. <laughs> I got two. I'm on the board. You pull all five of these, Height. You tie. Okay. You got to go five. five. Yeah, you got to name out. them all. <laughs> all right. This is back calling them all out again, kind of like we did the running backs. Nolan now Ryan. We're, now we're with baseball <laughs> pitchers. Whoa. Name the active pitchers with the most career strikeouts. Clayton Kershaw. Uh, Justin Verlander. Ooh. Uh, I'll take just last name. Matt Scherzer. Who you want to call it now? Yep. Verlander, Scherzer, Kershaw. There's two more. Um. Uh, One of them's known to be an odd fella. Just a different dude. Oh, uh, uh, play for the Royals. Yep. Mm -hmm. um, I know exactly who you're talking about. I yeah, me too. Get his, I can't get his name out. What's the first letter of his last name? That's going to give it away. Y'all ready for that? Zach, Zach Grinky. Oh, I'm going to give me. it a height. That was close. What? I'm going to give it a height, yeah. <laughs> his eye, his eyes got wide when he answered it. That means he that is unfair. It. And the other one. The math. other one. I'm trying to think of a way not to. He played for the Red Sox at one point. Chris Sale? Yeah, I was about to say he plays for the Braves now. So, All right. So this okay. edition of the Bus Cup brought to you by Blackshear Beverage was a boat race in favor of Opie. Opie with 14 total points, height with eight. eight. So uh, Opie will take the four total points uh, allotted today for the Bus Cup winner, and height will take three. <laughs> so the gap, <laughs> gap not stretched out very much there, which will put height – Holding a big lead at 55, and Opie now at 47, Law 37, Jay at 28. This has turned into a two-man race, kind of how we expected. Just um, delete Jay out of there. I mean, he's used to I like saying how far behind everybody is. <laughs> makes fair. me feel good okay. how far he's behind. I'm good with that. All right, uh, we, it's time for our last commercial break. On the other side of the break, though, we are going to talk Braves baseball, um, Acuna injury, just some possibilities of some trades that 
whether we think they should or not. And uh, we've got some an NIL update, so y'all stay with us. We'll be right back. Bank of Dudley is proud to sponsor the Big Ugly Sports Show. Wherever you're listening to your favorite sports show, you can also be banking with your favorite bank. Bank of Dudley offers mobile and online banking platforms to make managing your money easy. Get on that Bank of Dudley bus. Bank of Dudley since 1905. Member FDIC. Welcome back once again to the Big Ugly Sports Show brought to you by the Bank of Dudley. We are on our final segment right here, and we're going to talk Braves baseball. So um, devastating news coming out of Atlanta as Ronald Cunha Jr. tears his ACL in a non-contact injury. Uh, I believe it was two days ago now um, on Sunday. So we've been here before. You know, we've won a World Series with him. I mean, with, with him hurt. Can we win the World Series right now with the roster we have with Acuna Hurt? Yes. Oh. Here we go. Sorry. Yes. Yes, we can. Um, I mean, there's, there's no doubt that we can. Is it harder? Is it a more difficult road? Yes. But it, we still have the roster that can compete. We're Right now we're, I think, uh, four games back from the National League. Um, and we're still in the wild card spot. We're st- like – Loss, if you look at just the loss column, the only team better than us are the Phillies in the National League. So we're still going to be in – Six games back of the Phillies. Yeah. Uh, we're still right in the heat of it. We're going to be there at the end of the season. But losing Strider, losing Acuna is going to make it really difficult. Arguably your two best players. Yeah. I mean, preseason anyway. Best pitcher and best hitter. One of the best players in the world at baseball. Um, but we, st- but we, our offense, along with the Dodgers, was so much better than everybody else's that we still can compete. And we, we all know that once you get into that postseason tournament, uh, anything can happen. Is it likely to happen? Probably not. But it's it's out there. We can get hot at the right time and play good. Is go who on the roster takes his spot? At du- Duvall's an everyday player now. Yeah, so right, you got at, Kellen at, in, right, so in left, Duvall in right. Who is eight, up in A's now, Duvall is. I mean, still obviously in good shape, but mm-hmm. he, he hadn't played every day this whole year. I mean, that's a lot of a lot of years. That's a solid outfield. Yeah. I mean, it's, but it's not Acuna. And you know that they're going to go out and get somebody. And, but it also, Kellen don't hit lefties as well. And so it gave – when you know, it obviously gave him and Duvall the opportunity to platoon and, and – Give you a bat each time that face the so opposite we, hand. We go get a, uh, a, a a guy who hits lefties well yep. to to put in there and just have like a three man rotation. They're going to go pick up somebody like a Solaire, um, somebody who's a rental for the rest of the year who who hits lefties well, or uh, uh, a starting pitcher or something that gets us over the hump because we're we're in win now mode. Yeah. And we only have a certain amount of years left with all this core. Max Freed still hadn't been signed. So he's, Charlie gone, Morton's he, old, he's probably sales gone this year. So sales been really good. So man, what a great. pickup. What a pickup. But I mean he and Lopez have been they carried the staff in the beginning and then now Freed's picked it back up. He man, you talk about getting hot. He is pitching lights out. But um contract year, classic. Got to. But I mean, we're 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 in the right position. It can still happen. We need it to happen. We don't have a ton of gems in the farm system. But I say, let me ask you this: Would you trade AJ Smith Schuster? Shaver. Shaver. Is it new? <laughs> Juju Smith Schuster on us. Oh yeah. AJ wow. Smith Shaver. Would you trade credibility him? out the window? <laughs> <laughs> Would you trade him, who's probably our best prospect, for a rental that's no. going to get us? To the, what if that rental got us to the World Series championship? Would you trade him and his future for a World Series? Yeah, sure, absolutely. Yeah. Now we, that changes guess, things. But yes. Guess who's not signed? Trevor Bauer. The Braves ain't gonna sign him. Zero chance. Who's that Grinky with? Because I thought he was, was with agent. Houston. I don't. I don't he know. He was with Houston. I don't know if he's still there. He's with. Um. Yeah, I, I don't. I don't know. I do. I'm also. I'm. I'm not opposed to the Braves uh, shopping RC around, trying to get us a better shortstop. Um, I was thinking. I, I would like. I've heard Boba Shit's name tossed around. I know the Dodgers are trying to get him. Why would they get rid of Boba Shit? I don't know. 
I guess if you give them enough of what they want. But I, I wouldn't mind. I was watching it last night. Uh, man, his name just left me. The shortstop for the Nationals from Atlanta. Uh, lefty. Played at Blessed Trinity. Mm-hmm. Y'all going to give me one second. It's going to bother me. But anyhow, um, are y'all are y'all good with Arcia, or do you think it's I, time to move on? I'm good with him. I think it was a good signing. He he doesn't make a ton of money, which we need cap space or not cap space. We need to have money available for all these other big time players. You got to have some role guys, and he's a great clubhouse guy, and plays good defense. Hits 20, 25 home runs. Going to hit about 260, 270. I mean, I, I, I certainly don't think he's our weakness. And I, I think we have – we still have the guys in place so that when they start hitting, we're going to be in the right position offensively. C.J. Abrams. C.J. the name I couldn't think of. Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah, I'd love to go out there and get a, a, a better he's somebody player. I think you could get – you're not going to get Bobby Shett without giving up no. a lot. But well, I think I don't, get – The problem with the Braves <clears> – <throat> Uh, farms is I mean they they don't have many guys in there that are worth Mm-mm. as much on the market and so I, I just don't see us having you're you're trading somebody off the major league roster for Boba shit yeah and and, uh, and uh, AJ Smith and she's just um you know we, we've depleted our farm system a pretty good bit and you know we we just we eventually we're going to need some guys from the farm system to come up again. None of these guys are really panned out though. I used to be a big prospect guy. Yeah. I guess during the days of losing Chris Carpenter and losing, you know, the JD Drew t- trade and the uh, the Mark Teixeira the trade. Wayne, Adam Wainwright. Yeah. Uh, I said Carpenter. I, m- I meant uh, Wainwright. Yeah. So Elvis Andrews. Yeah. All those guys felt like we were losing on those, but in the past few years, all the guys we've given up. Have turned out to be nothing, mm-hmm. and we have benefited greatly from. So, I mean, I, so are that. With that being said, or do we have years ahead of us that it's about to go south? Well, you got to look at. Nobody has more homegrown talent on the roster right now than we do. We're killing it. I mean, all of our best players are all homegrown guys. Um, so we have hit more times than we haven't, and we traded the right people and kept the right people and signed them long term. So I. I trust whatever the GM's going to do, and I mean, he, has, he has earned our trust, I think, to say he's going to do something, yeah. and it's going to work out. But what do y'all think? Do you think there's something wrong with Acuna that makes him so injury-prone? Or is it just how he plays the game, or is it just pure luck? I think it's bad luck. Yeah, I, it's some good. people in professional sports, they just injury-prone. You know, you know that. I mean, we, we as long as we've been watching sports, there's always a guy that the knock on him is, ah, oh, man, he just can't stay healthy. Oh, he would have had a Hall of Fame career if he could have just stayed healthy. Um, so, I, I mean, I don't know what his workout routine is. Is he doing the right things to 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 protect his his knees and and, and whatnot? I don't know. I'd be willing to bet he is, but I, I mean, so if you look at the two, he doesn't look jacked to me. Like, he doesn't look like he like spends a ton of time working out to me. Well. In your expert opinion, I mean, I, I've I've been watching professional athletes, high school athletes, college athletes for. As I'd long be as willing I can to remember. bet he works out pretty good. I just said he doesn't. His his body doesn't look like. Oh man, that dude just you know shredded and jacked or whatever. So I don't. Yeah. Know. I I started thinking. Does he does he slow down? Does he quit running? Does he quit stealing bases when he comes back from his knee injury? Is that what causes it? And then I thought he was just bouncing off with an extended lead. I mean, it was kind of an odd, like, kind of, am I going, am I not going? It's like he was trying to deek the catcher, yeah. I think. Of and then the other one was just running to first base. So it wasn't even stealing bases that got him. No, he, he, no, he, he tore an outfield. outfield. He was an outfield was first. Oh, yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, landed bad on him. Oh, yeah, he just, he just tweaked his knee that time yeah, on first base. Out. Yeah, um, So it wasn't even running bases that got him in trouble. So he could – but, I mean, there's a chance this could – Derail his Hall of Fame career. Well, that's what I was going to ask. He's 26. He'll turn 27 in December. So you got to think he's close to 28 by the time he comes back, which is young, but but also getting to where it's not young. You know, he you think the point. because of the type of player he is, he may have five years, five six years left when he comes back. 
And he's going to be a different player. I mean, I would think, which I mean, obviously well, ACLs, will they, but. Which guys that are big base stealers, you know, once they get to 30, it, it typically declines. Mm-hmm. Um, but I don't know. We'll see. I, and I, you, but that's two seasons almost. Lost injury. Mm-hmm. Two so. full seasons. So if you had to put money, if you had to put $100 down right now, is he a Hall of Famer or not at the end of his career? No. Would you have said that same thing a week ago? Uh, no. Because, because – You think this injury is what keeps him out? Mm, mm, uh, yeah. I I think that if he's gotten injured twice already, the chance I – th- I mean, he he – I would put money on him getting hurt again. And – you know he's run it's a ton run of out, run out of ACL ton of statistics. He's he's not getting you know yeah. a ton of homers, stolen bases. I mean if he hits forty home runs a year, that's eighty home runs that he's missing from his career. Mm-hmm. And then if you're a counting home run guy, you know if you're counting on that five hundred number, then that's a eighty is a th- lot. I mean I think if he comes back in his <clears throat> I mean, close to what he has been. I think he's – and he does that for five more years. I think he's Hall of Famer. I mean, he's been the best player in baseball for the last handful of years. And if you come back and you're still well, you one got, of the best you gotta players. you got to have a 300 batting average. you got to have – got to have something. you got to have 3,000 uh, hits. The, you got to have 500 homers. The best homers, thing he's got going whistle. for him is the, the catchy statistic of doing uh, 70 steals and – 40, 40 home runs. runs. Speaking of 70 steals, did y'all see where uh, was Elliot De La Cruz is over 30 already? Yeah, he bases. was on pace for like 120 steals at some point. That's impressive. But he'll slow down. His He's not going to get on base as much. It's already started slowing down. He won't He won't keep it up. Well, now you're looking into the future. That's wild. Uh, there's something I've noticed today. This is a real Opie heavy show today. <laughs> Which is of, why he's, lot of a, he's been uh, grinning the whole time. That's because you just woke up 10 minutes ago. A lot of opinion out of this guy. It's almost like he said, "All right, I tell you what. Hey, hey, Britt. Hey, Amy. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna memorize. I'm gonna memorize all these informations. And so, whenever I get there, I can just without anybody without anybody talking. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna spout them out. Well, I could tell by the way he was texting when you hadn't responded. He was kind of open to just be me and him that way. I did not want to get. I wasn't gonna do the show. I could we see. weren't gonna do the show. Yeah. I, was, I was gonna go back and y'all could just do it without hey, me anymore. Chuck. Get it going and watch me cook. <laughs> watch me cook. Watch me cook. That's in my tower's cook. That's why when he gets in the car and goes home today, he's going to be like, man, hey, what a show. He's going to call man, I did great today. <laughs> this show was amazing. This is probably our most watched, most viewed show. Dude, this oh. is the only place on earth where you can get criticized for giving your sports opinion on a sports talk show. That's, that's what, it's, that's what well, makes it's it good. It's only because how obnoxious you are when you do it. <laughs> In what way am I not obnoxious? Being knowledgeable and confident? Just by talking? I'm sorry. Let me it's just more sit. your delivery. I tell you what. We'll just sit in quietly and let him. Because every, every time you tee us up for a question, he just waits for me to talk. So he can then criticize whatever I say. From now on, I'll just sit back, let you go, and then I'll criticize you. That sounds like a good recipe for you. <laughs> <laughs> sit back there and don't say anything. I think, hey. The fans, I think they'll like that. Smith Schuster will love it. <laughs> <laughs> um, I was talking to my mom yesterday about the she's FaceTime the kids or whatever. I was talking to her about the, the Acuna. And my mom likes my for, my mom loves the Braves. That's well known. Mm-hmm. Cannot stand the aspect, and she's been like this for as long as I can remember of showboating. Like I can remember with Deion Sanders, she couldn't stand any of that. So our conversation turned from. Acuna's in, injury may be helping him because he he been showing out a little too much. That's what said. Maybe it'll do him some good You're at home. Humble. <laughs> yeah, no. I was thinking, no, probably not. That's uh, what I said the last time he got hurt. Yeah, he came back even more. Yeah, and I'm on this Braves Facebook group, uh, <laughs> and uh, and somebody was talking on somebody. Hey, this is like two years ago or whatever, and they they made a comment about uh, people hating on. No, 
know, young players and people like Acuna and whatever, and they were calling us boomers. They, they were saying boomers hate, you know. I was, and I was, and I, so then I, I get in there and I start to pot up a little bit. And I was like, I'm, I'm glad he got hurt. We won it without him. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and dude, you should have seen the, they were, they were angry, angry at me because <laughs> I said we won it without him. One thing about now, he will reply to a comment somewhere <laughs> on a big page. You think he's got a, Got a, just a notebook full of passwords for all these message <laughs> boards he's in. It jumps so much. I can't, so hey, can't remember where his phone's at or uh, wake up on time no, passwords. because he stays up all night on the ma- message board. No, I promise you I don't stay up all night on the message board. I fall asleep quick. <laughs> at some point, he falls asleep. <laughs> he just types something in, inflammatory, and goes to sleep. <laughs> Shout out to uh, Kim, original bus member Kim Cam Bigelow for that yeah. that question about – well, his, his question really was the Braves won a World Series without Acuna. If hypothetically win another one, is it safe to say the Braves are better without Acuna? Be some, be some awful uh, convenient statistics there. Yep. So um, we are running here out of time. We're at the 50 minute mark. So uh, we'll save the NIL. It'll still be ongoing for next week. I'm sorry, Opie. I know that was, look, that's another thing. That's probably the biggest thing happening, but don't worry about it. Well, we had a lot of other stuff to talk about. You got, I mean, you want to, Fill everybody in right now for in about a minute. I had to give you another minute of mic time. A minute, no chance. <laughs> if if you had cut back on some of those monologues early in the show, you'd have had time to do it. Mm. Well, I mean, the big thing is they have completely changed the way Here NIL works. Uh-huh. Their profit sharing uh-huh. in the NCA. Uh-huh. So all the players are going to be getting. I think they had to back pay players and pay current players. So a lot of a lot of teams are not going to be able to afford that um, and all fair opie's calling colleges left and right shutting down because all this. budgets are going to be very you know tight going forward i mean the big time schools like big 10 and and acc they'll be fine but all the other colleges are in bad shape and title nine is about to go away because you can't enforce title nine when you're having a profit share and it's becoming a true business so it's going to affect colleges across the country Poor colleges and smaller colleges, colleges are going to have to cut sports. Women's sports are going to be the first ones cut because they they don't make as much money. Everything but men's basketball and football is about, about to be on the chopping block for a lot of these colleges. So no scholarship limits. A uh, ton of changes coming because of this latest le- legislation. Tune in next week as we unpack the rest of the NIL. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, this one, if we had a show every day, oh, we could come back tomorrow and talk about this. But until then, y'all are going to have to wait till next week for Opie, more of his comments That's on that. That's pretty much it. I know they're so excited to hear you talk. <laughs> Bring us home, Mike. Be sure to check it out on Facebook, Instagram, uh, TheBigUglySportsShow.com, YouTube. Give us a share. Give us a like. Give us a comment. Tell your friends. Tell your family. Tell everybody about it. And if you want to hear more of uh, Matt Opie Hightower's takes, his, you can find him on Facebook at Matt Hightower. Uh, search him out. He'll post some of his <laughs> post some of his takes you on it. You can find him at his name. He, he's real active. <laughs> real active on there. Eight followers away from 2,000 on Facebook, boys. Eight followers away. Who's going to be doing? those eight? What are we doing when we hit 2,000? Celebrating at Jay's. Hey. Hey, are we, are we back up and running on Apple? No. Okay. Yeah, I need to make a post on about that. But Apple's, Apple's not functioning with us, so it'll just be Spotify and YouTube for now. Obviously, you're listening on one of those if you're hearing this. So uh, make sure you visit our website, www.thebigolysportshow.com. Thank you for all of our sponsors. We appreciate you for everything you do, wherever you're at today, whatever you're doing. Get on that bus. Woo! On the bus going round down, got the wheels on the bus going round down.